What's up guys? Just want to do a really short thank you video for my first 100 subscribers. Uh, my popularity on YouTube would be nothing without you guys and I know that 100 subscribers compared to like the big name game reviewers and the big game the big name retro collectors is is nothing. But to a more humble reviewer such as myself, I really appreciate it. I think it's awesome. You know, my first hundred subscribers getting those triple digits now. Woohoo! And so, uh, you know, I wouldn't have the drive to do the videos that I do if it wasn't for you guys. So I just wanted to say a thank you to all my subscribers and also let you guys know that there is plenty more content on the way. In fact, I am planning to start doing some Atari mini reviews. Now what that means is basically is that it's only gonna be like a one to three minute video because how much can you really say about an Atari game? But as you can see right up here, the collection of Atari games is slowly but steadily growing and uh, I plan to just start doing some reviews over those two. Uh, that's not to say that I'm not gonna continue reviewing all of the um, the normal retro consoles that you guys are used to me reviewing. Um, you may have noticed though, I'd love to take the time to clear this up, that um, everything I've been doing, I haven't ever done a Sega Genesis review. And let me just clear that up and explain why. Yes, I do have a Sega Genesis, and it works fine, then I have plenty of games for it that I really want to review. I mean, look. Freaking, you kidding me? Splatterhouse 2, all the Sonic games, freaking McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. There's lots of potential there. Well, the reason why is because for some reason, my game recording software, it does not pick up the Sega Genesis in color. It just won't do it. I've tried every NTCS format, PAL format, every cultural format known to man that this software came included with and I cannot get it to come in color so I don't know eventually I plan to buy a really nice recorder because right now it's just a normal RCA to USB adapter and I use a third party you know screen recorder to record it but for now I'm going to have to just kind of stay away from Sega Genesis but I do plan to review them in the future but anyways one more time I just want to say thank you to you guys for giving me 100 subscribers and uh Hope you guys continue to watch.